Hi, my name is Rafael Taubinger and this video is an overview of IR Embedded Workbench for ARM version 930 with the VS Code extensions. The version 930 added various interesting features like displayed on the screen from new cores to dark mode, new devices and really exciting the VS Code extensions. So let's dig into each of the items to explore on what it means. Support for Cortex-M85 ARM has introduced a new MCU class core with the Cortex-M85 that offers higher integer performance than Cortex-M7. The new Cortex-M85 core is designed for developers requiring increased performance for their Cortex-M powered products without going into the Cortex-A cores and instead keeping important features such as determinism, short interrupt latencies, and advanced low power management modes found in all Cortex-M cores. The image on the screen gives a good reference on how the Cortex-M85 is positioned compared to M55 and M7. The Cortex-M85 based microcontrollers will come with larger on-chip SRAMs, higher clock speeds, and for now ARM did not say when we can expect uh, Cortex M85 microcontrollers, but there can be a lag of one year after an ARM core is announced for silicon from partners to become available. We also have Cortex R52 Plus support. So ARM's Cortex R family of real time processors has underpinned much of his automotive design evolution. The latest addition, ARM Cortex R52 Plus, provides improved configurability for real time applications with functional safety requirements. This is increasingly important in the context of electronic control units, ECUs, consolidation. As virtual ECUs become more common, they need to be supported by proven embedded real time technologies that can provide strict separation between these virtual embedded applications. As with Cortex R52, Cortex R52 Plus will independently be accessed and certified for ISO 26262 up to ACL D, as well for IEC 61508 CL 3 for the avoidance of systematic failures and coverage of random hardware faults. Additionally, ARM Cortex M custom instruction support. ARM custom instructions are a standard feature of the ARM V8M architecture which is optimized for cost and power sensitive microcontrollers for embedded and IoT applications. ARM custom instructions are currently available for the Cortex M33 M55 processors uh, and will also be available for M85 this year. A custom instruction directive can be used with inline assembler in applications written in C or C++. In combination with an inline function, you can create an intrinsic like function to use custom architecture extensions. C17 library features. The previous versions of IR embedded Workbench C compiler accepted source code written in C17, standard, and added the language features, but the library features were missing. So, version 930 now includes a new C library that supports the C17 library features. The Lee C is a C17 library. In C17, some functionality that was deprecated in C13 is now removed. Examples include uh, auto PTR, random shuffle, and memory fun. Also, editor themes including dark mode. Beyond the aesthetics, there are many reasons why some users prefer dark mode. Dark mode may decrease eye strain in low light conditions. Additionally, it can improve accessibility for individuals with light sensitivity. You can try it by yourself, but here on the screen you can see a comparison from the standard versus the dark mode in the IDE. Additionally, also grey out for inactive code. In summary, it's the functionality of greying out inactive code between preprocessors like if def, else if and if. This makes it more uh, readily apparent when looking at code in an inactive preprocessor branch and of course it will improve productivity. Visual Studio Code extensions. Here comes the big news. Visual Studio Code is a streamlined code editor with support for development operations like debugging, task running and version control. 
It aims to provide just the tools a developer needs for a quick code build debug cycle and leaves more complex workflows to fuller featured IDEs like the IR Embedded Workbench. The Visual Studio Code extensions, that are called IR Build Extension and IR CSPY Debugger Extension, enable you to work in Visual Studio Code but taking advantage of the powerful capabilities of the IR system software solutions, such as build and debug projects efficiently, manage projects files and do it in an easy way, generate messages and reports from the static code analysis CSTAT, and use language features part by the C++ extension and more, like even Arctos Avernus plugin. The extensions can be downloaded and installed from the VS Code Marketplace. So you can find extra documentation and information about uh, the IR toolchain compatibility directly in the extensions, or if you go to IR Systems GitHub, github.com slash IR Systems like displayed on the page. For the new devices, please check the release notes since there are currently 7,000 plus devices that are supported from various vendors like Microchip, NXP, ST, Silicon Labs, Renesas, and more. So, now it's time for a demo to show you how this all comes together, especially the VS Code extensions. Great! I have here IR Embedded Workbench for ARM uh, open now. And uh, the first step is uh, to have a look here on the Information Center. It's mainly where we have additional information available from user guides, to, to example uh, projects, uh, but um, if we dig in here, we can see that we have many uh, chip vendors, so it's over 8,400 um, examples that we provide from uh, various uh, vendors. And uh, additionally, uh, you can also get information on hardware solutions, support, the release notes that are very important, and finally, my pages where you can download all possible versions. So if we look here uh, on the left side, we can see uh, the project manager. So uh, by accessing here the options, uh, we will see uh, that uh, first, IR Embedded Workbench uh, supports uh, all uh, ARM uh, cores, starting from the legacy ones and moving uh, to uh, the most recent ones like uh, Cortex um, R52 Plus and M85, it's here uh, in the list. Uh, additionally, if you select uh, the devices here, you will see that uh, we have plenty of uh, devices that we support here, actually uh, over 7,000 plus uh, devices that are uh, supported from uh, all uh, the various vendors. Again, it's really uh, impressive uh, list here of devices that uh, we uh, support. Um, Additionally, if we look here on the compiler, uh, there are various uh, optimization levels uh, that can be used from medium high and then, of course, balance size, speed, depending on what uh, you need in your application. Uh, you also have full control here uh, on uh, the linker side uh, to define uh, the resources that are available and how to allocate uh, the vector table, memory, uh, and even uh, stack and heap. Um, that's all, of course, under your uh, control. And uh, finally, if we look here uh, under the debugger, there are various uh, drivers supported, and also, of course, the iJet, iJet race from IR systems. Uh, if we look here uh, on iJet, uh, we support SWO, the ETM. Uh, I mean, it's a zero wire output uh, embedded trace macro cell, even if there is an embedded trace buffer. Uh, of course, you can select here the protocol too. Uh, if we look here and just build uh, this uh, project quickly, uh, we can see that that's uh, straightforward. No errors or warnings like expected. But let me switch here to Visual Studio Code. And um, as you can see here on the left side, if I go to Marketplace, uh, the IR extensions, the IR build and IR CSPY debug extension are available. So you can, of course, uh, get more information or details uh, about them. And by using these extensions, uh, it will automatically detect which um, workbench you're using, but uh, it's not only ARM that is supported, uh, most IDs are supported. And um, what 
we need to do here, we can open a project created on uh, IR Embedded Workbench. So if we select that folder, uh, Visual Studio Code will mainly uh, open this project. And from here, it will be straightforward. We can mainly uh, build this project. I mean, there are a few uh, tasks that are available, build, clean, and so on. If we just go over here, we can uh, run the task and even analyze code here. We've seized that, uh, generate reports, and so on. So that, that just built this project now. And as you can see, it's uh, straightforward, uh, invoking the IR tools um, here from Visual Studio Code. Um, if we now want to uh, also use the IR SysPy debugger extension, uh, as you can see, once uh, the plugin is installed, you just need to run and debug. It will use all the configuration that we used on Embedded Workbench, and I'm connected here. And uh, from here, uh, we will stop at main. And then you have full control to step in, step out, run uh, this application as usual uh, from the debugger here. Um, another capability that it's, of course, uh, worth to mention here, uh, we have uh, all the possible information here, variables, locals, uh, watch, uh, call stack, uh, everything um, really uh, handy here. Breakpoints, call stack, peripheral view, I mean, just loading here, but all the peripherals are available uh, for uh, use and uh, monitoring. And if you look here, we can mainly just quickly stop this. And it's very handy that you can actually um, invoke here uh, IR Embedded uh, Workbench from uh, VS Code. So it will mainly open this same workspace uh, at IR Embedded Workbench. And if you're looking for some more uh, advanced uh, debugging capabilities, just connect to the target here, just finalizing the build. And once the download is completed, we will land here at main. So as you can see, uh, we can step into uh, all the Integrated capabilities are available here, step in, step out, uh, and so on. So you can, uh, of course, um, leave this application running. We'll see some information being displayed. Uh, there are some additional information that uh, can be used here, like the terminal I/O to print out information. But everything you need is under the view option here, from memory to locals, uh, stack, um, code coverage and even the fault exception viewer. If you look here on iJet, we have the opportunity to open the timeline. And this is actually uh, very interesting. If this application runs for a while, we can have from one side uh, the power consumption. If the power is provided to the board via the iJet, we can measure that and uh, create some samples. Uh, we can also show you uh, some uh, interrupts that are being triggered here. Uh, there are also the ITM events that is implementation from Cortex-M, so it's very efficient, so you can definitely uh, get here full control of um, your application. You also have uh, the function profiler showing you where you're spending most of the time when running uh, your application. And um, as you can see, very handy and powerful. So. Great! As you can see, IR Embedded Workbench for version 9.30 brought various new features and the possibility to make use of the Visual Studio Code extension. Try it out now. Just access ir.com slash arm for more details on how to get access to the new version. The link is also displayed on the screen now. Thank you so much for your time and hope to see you soon.